Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. We wanted to do an event today because we wanted to celebrate you guys. We wanted to bring, want to bring you guys together. We wanted to give you an opportunity to have a blast playing the latest in PC games and celebrating PC games themselves. This is a great time for PC gaming. Am I right? We are today on a pretty historic boat, or I should say, a pretty historic ship, right? The USS Hornet. I'm on a boat. You're on a boat, right? I'm on a boat. And the USS Hornet is a very historic ship in American history. So we thought this was a this was a perfect place to be able to allow us to celebrate PC gaming. The, the land event that we're doing on this aircraft carrier has 620 BYOC seats, 64 seat tournament, 2D and 3D, 400 bunk LAN camp, and I think we've got about 150 people that are actually sleeping here on the boat in those, those decks. <laughs> right, man, thank you. We've got three 3D simulators to let you play really intense racing and flight simulators. We've got 22 sponsors and 48 hours of insomnia. Yeah! So this is the perfect place to let us celebrate PC gaming. And we thought the perfect game to do it with actually is with Battlefield 3 and the launch of Battlefield 3. So I thought it'd be perfect since we wanted to celebrate PC gaming, we want to celebrate you guys, we want to celebrate these new games that are coming out that are really pushing the state of the art of our graphics engines, we thought it'd be fantastic to invite one of the key visionaries in the graphics industry, one of the most important architects at, at DICE, the people that build Battlefield 3, Johan Andersen from DICE is here today. Let me invite Johan up. Johan, you guys have, have, have built a fantastic engine. First off, you've been at DICE for how many years now? For 11 years now, so for quite some time. <laughs> and starting off with what game? Yeah, Battlefield 942, so... Yeah! <laughs> Battlefield 1942, right? Yep. And that was a great game, wasn't that it? That was an awesome game. It was a huge amount of fun developing it, and I guess a lot of people here had a lot of fun playing it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Now, Battlefield 1942 was 2002. That was what we called our GeForce 4 Ti. You guys remember that? Yeah! <laughs> 2002, GeForce 4 Ti, and you guys built the, the, uh, this game, Battlefield 1942, on top of the graphics architecture that was available at that time, right? Yeah, absolutely. It, it wouldn't have been possible without using GPUs for that type of thing, those and, type of vast environments and all. So I think probably the best way to kind of get a perspective of what a game like Battlefield 3 running on our latest technologies, our latest GeForce GTX technologies like, is to actually look at Battlefield 1942 back in the day from 2002. So let's take a moment yeah. take a look at it. So how many people have played this level before? Yeah. <laughs> Thought so. Yeah. 
some, some classic battlefield action, crazy tanks, crazy vehicles. Yes, flying there, doing your own thing, playing with your friends, killing your friends. So that was Battlefield, Battlefield 1942. And then you've moved on, we're now 10 years later. You've got GTX 580s available now in SLI, which by the way, relative to Battlefield 1942, the technology now has proved by two, over two orders of magnitude higher performance from that generation to our latest generations, right? Yep. So that means a lot of creative freedom for you guys. Yeah, right? we, we, we take that power, we see what do we want to create and, and try and really innovate uh, with, with the visuals and with the gameplay and, and in, in general in the game. So it's, it's usually useful. You told me earlier that there were probably three things to pay attention to when looking at Battlefield 3 now. Yeah, what were those three things? Yeah, there's a couple of things. Uh, first, the landscapes. All the detail we put into the landscapes, both the terrain, the things you can fly over, as well as all the objects we have in the, in the game environment. That's really something we try and cram as much as possible into. We've always tried, done that, but now we have even more flexibility, even more, more hardware for that. Uh, second thing would be, well, again, the vehicle, vehicle action. That's always been the strong pillar of uh, Battlefield and the variation in gameplay you, you get from that. And you'll see that strongly in Battlefield 3 again, the, sort of the core Battlefield spirit. And then thirdly, uh, I think a really important visual thing is the sort of the visual style of the game, of having this really visceral game with uh, massive lighting, massive type of effects going on, making you sort of create this uh, big picture where everything fits together and it fits together and empowers the game. Johan has been very gracious, and he has been very gracious, to bring exclusively to GeForce LAN for you guys some new maps for you to be able to yep. play. <laughs> so I think we have a, a, a map to show these guys, right? Absolutely. Called Operation Firestorm. Firestorm. Operation Firestorm. Yep. OK? <laughs> so you guys will be the first people ever to play this map. Yep. So that's what you were talking about, those extensive landscapes, right? Absolutely. We use uh, dis tessellation and displacement mapping for the terrain in the distance. Uh, <laughs> 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 So I think what you can see is a lot more detail in this game now, right? That's the thing you were talking about before. Yeah, absolutely. Just cramming all of those objects in there, having destructible environments, indoor environments. Having that variation in gameplay is really, really important for us. Yeah. <laughs> ah, some there we go. classic tank action. So the particle effects that are in the game are pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. Uh -huh. 